good morning to everyone in this video we will explore some more new and latest features in excel advanced package introduced by automation anywhere in their latest edition that is a2019 so stay tuned and watch this video till the end so do, so that you don't miss out on the new and latest features that we will cover in this video so without any further delay let's start our discussion the first topic that we will cover today is the get current worksheet name command this command basically retrieves the name of the current worksheet this action works with xlsx xls xlsb xlsm and csv file so now we will see the functionality of how to use this command so first of all drag and drop the open command give the session name and then select the desktop file tab then click on browse and select the file from the location where your file is present after selecting the file click on open and then check the sheet contains a header checkbox and then click on save now drag and drop the get current worksheet name command and then create a variable to store the output so we will create we get worksheet name and then click on create and select and then finally click on save now to see the output use the message box command so drag and drop the message box command and select the variable which you have created in the get current worksheet name so the variable that we created is we get worksheet name then click on yes insert and then click on save now we will run the program the output that we will get is the name of the current worksheet that will be there in the input file see the output that we have got is sheet 1 since sheet 1 was the current worksheet that was active at the time of opening the file so the output that we have got is sheet 1 so this is how you can use the get current worksheet name command The next command that we will discuss is the get multiple cells command. This command basically retrieves the values of multiple cells that are present in an Excel worksheet. This action or this command works with XLSX, XLS, XLSB, XLSM and CSV file. So now we will see the functionality of this command that is get multiple cells command. so drag and drop this command give the session name that we have used in the open command in the select range of cells field we have three options that is all rows specific rows and cell range so we will use the cell range for this example in the from cell field give the starting address that that is a1 in the to cell give the cell address which you want to fetch that is c5 so in the read option we have two options that is read visible text in cell or read cell value for this example i am using read visible text in cell and assign the output to a table variable that is v table which we have already created after storing the output in the table variable then click on save now we have to use the loop command to loop through each row or the each record that is present in that particular range so drag and drop the loop command and in the iterator field select for each row in table 
and select the table variable which we created that is v table now to store the record or the row we will store the output in the record variable that is v record which we have already created so then click on save now to display the output or to see the output we will use the message box command and select the record variable that is v record which we have created and in the record option there will be two tabs that is one by index and one by name so we will use the index and in the index field i will be using as zero that which represents the first column so then click on yes then click on yes insert and then click on save now we will run the program so the output that will be displayed will be the data or the values that are present in the first column so as you can see it has displayed the first row that is Piyush and then Abhishek and then Ram so this is the output that we would that we were expecting since in the message box we passed zero as the index which means the first column of an excel file so this is how you can use the get multiple cells command the next command that we will discuss is the get number of rows command this command basically retrieves the number of rows that are present in the excel file this action works with xlsx xls xlsm xlsb and csv file so now let's see the functionality of get number of rows command so drag and drop this command give the session name that we have used in the open command and select worksheet by index or by name as per your choice so for in for this example i am using select worksheet by index and the index that i will pass is one and select non-empty rows or total rows with data as per your requirement so i am selecting total rows with data and assign the output to a number variable that is v row count which we have already created then click on save now to see the output we will have to convert the number variable to a string variable so search for the action that is number to string and drag and drop this action select a number variable that is v row count then click on yes insert and assign the output to a variable which we have already created that is v total row count now use the message box command to display the output and select the v total row count variable click on yes insert and then click on save now we will run the program the output that we will get is 4 since there are 4 rows in the excel file see the output that has been displayed is 4 since there were 4 rows which were having the data so this is how we can use the get number of rows command next command that we will discuss is the get single cell command as the name suggests the get single cell command retrieves the value of a single cell in an excel worksheet this action works with xlsx xls xlsb xlsm and csv file so drag and drop this command in the session name give the same session name that we have used in the open command under the cell option we have two options one is the active cell and the other is the specific cell so it is preferred to use specific cell and in this example i am also going to use the specific cell option 
in the cell address field pass in the cell address so i am passing as b5 under the read option again we have two options that is read visible text in cell that is the text that will be that is visible in the cell will be read and another is read cell value so i am going to use the read cell value option and then we will store the contents of the cell in the prompt assignment variable or the variable you have created prompt assignment is a system variable after we have stored the output then click on save now to display the output use the message box command so drag and drop the message box command and select the prompt assignment variable that we have used to store the output then click on yes insert and finally click on save now we will run the program the output that we will get is the is the value that will be stored in the cell so the output that we will get is the value that will be present at b4 cell address so the output that we have got is 34 since the value stored at cell b4 or the cell address b4 is 34 so this is how we can use the get single cell command the next command that we will discuss is the get cell address command this command basically returns the cell address of the active cell or the user specified cell. This action works with xlsx, xls, xlsv and xlsm file. So now let's see the functionality of get cell address command. So drag and drop this command. Give the session name that we have used in the open command. Under the cell option, we have two options that is active cell and the specific cell. In this example, I am going to use active cell. Store the output in the prompt assignment variable or the variable you have created. Then click on save. To see the output, drag and drop the message box command. and select the prompt assignment variable since we have used prompt assignment to store the cell address then click on save now we will run the program so the output that will that will be returned is a3 since our active cell is at a3 location So the output that has been returned is A3 since the cursor was placed or the active cell was at A3. So this is how we can use the get cell address command. So in today's video we saw how we can get the current worksheet name, get multiple cell and how to get the cell address and the single cell address. I hope you will like my video. Please do watch, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on the latest topic. If you have any queries then please feel free to reach out to me with your queries and I will be more than happy to answer your queries. Till then have a great day.